How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to the most extreme explosion in the universe by In A Nutshell. All right, so with hearing a title like that, man, my mind is like literally racing, you know? It's like, is it a dying sun? We already established that, you know? Like, is it a freaking like exploding Milky Way for some reason? Like, I don't know. Like, it could be literally anything. And in the vein of like, in a nutshell, man, it literally could be anything. And that's what's like really, really awesome about this channel and like the, the videos that are coming out here lately, man. It's just really making you think. And like, this one kind of like, it's a little different. Like, you know how I always say, like, they make me question things that I never wanted to ask, you know? But, like, this is a situation where it's like, okay, they give me a prompt and I'm like, well, what's blowing up? You know, <laughs> like, they actually didn't give me the thing that's going to blow up this time. So without any further ado, here's the most extreme explosion in the universe. Supernovae are the most powerful Supernovas. explosions in the universe. Did you already tell me what it is? enough energy to outshine galaxies. Oh, that's, we have no real that's bright. Metaphor for their power. If the sun were to magically go supernova, oh, it explode would feel sun. like you were being hit. You by shouldn't the have that power, bird. Nuclear explosion every second. For every weeks. second. Oh. While supernovae are the engine. Is it just like Hulk's collapse? Just keep coming at you. That enable life. They also burn sterile whole regions of galaxies. Oh. So is that just nothingness? If one hit Earth. Okay, this video got way. M Why do you have a mutant rat? Video got way more interesting. I mean, it was already there really are, exciting. Roughly speaking, two ways to make a supernova. Oh, Either the do core tell. of a massive star implodes, I knew or that one. less common, a white dwarf gains mass to the point where it ignites explosive I think we learned diffusion. about that in a previous video. The outcome is the same. Not a scale. supernova <laughs> explosion. Come on, that's my favorite thing. When we think of an explosion on Got Earth, my hair. I don't know what's going on with it. Fast it's ends. annoying. Oh. But a supernova is more like a volcanic eruption. Yeah, that's what I kind of put two and two together. Tsunami. It does not stop. At first, there's a colorful ball of hot, expanding Corporate. gas creating a spectacular cloud that will shine for about a month. Oh, that measurement. But then, it doesn't stop. Hot and dangerous gas Your rushes outwards at speeds melt. of 10,000 kilometers a second through the near vacuum of space, sweeping oh. up the sparse gas of the galaxy. This wall of gas expands for tens of thousands of years and will eventually span up to dozens of light Whoa. years until it finally it's cools like off the nuclear and radiation after a bomb. its substance back into the galaxy. Nuclear bomb. So what if this star tsunami hits us? Star tsunami. Well, the damage depends on how far away it is. Yeah, yeah that's a one, very good... Thousands of light years away. They're gonna do it this Humans way? Let's go! Supernovae, okay, all, all the comparisons. Of light years away. They appeared as new stars, some oh, outshining the moon, pretty. twinkling for a few weeks, and disappearing. Aside from looking very pretty God, I'd love to distance, see it, man. they don't do much to us. Stage 2, 300 light years away. Uh, I see ripples. Things to get a bit icky once a supernova occurs around I love the word icky you're starting away. to use, man. Icky. We can expect mm. one this close to us every few million years. A single star giving the night sky an eerie glow like twilight. Okay. And while this is far enough away and dim enough to not do harm to us, they can affect the Earth. Do tell. These distances, oh, I'm like curious, man. The last weak waves of the star tsunami. Not strong enough to do real damage, <laughs> but still noticeable. Yeah, and the In bird's fact, sad now, the thank you. In 10 million years, Finding multiple Nemo. supernovae have struck Earth from these distances because we can find radioactive isotopes of iron deep in the rocks and sediments at the what? bottom of the ocean. Amazingly, it's already established on Earth? The system have cleared well, a 1,000 light year obviously, wide but... pocket of space that's called the local bubble. They blew away the interstellar gas and dust, creating a lumpy wall of gas that's now a cradle for star formation. Really? Stage three, 100. Dude, this is stuff I never away. knew about at all. Once a supernova happens I know about supernovas, much closer than 300 light years, no idea we're what they approaching did. the zone where it does real damage. Oh, stars have this is when the video pumps up. Magnetic fields. When they die, the oh. tsunami of dead star actually retains a lot of this magnetic energy woven through the shock wave that expands. I mean, outwards. why would it go away, right? I never cloud, processed that before. Conditions like in a huge particle accelerator that's accelerating charged particles like protons, oh. nuclei, and electrons. We go and Tron. Speeds. Which means we have an expanding cloud that is shooting deadly radiation in all directions long after the bright light from Someone the initial Bruce Banner. Oh my god! Away. If a supernova happens too close by, waves of these cosmic oh, rays that's... will wash over hey, the solar system. Hey, I said Bruce Banner. We need a Fantastic Four. 
While we're mostly protected on Earth's surface by oh. the atmosphere and ozone Some do layer, get in. the influx of extra radiation will still increase cancer and mutation rates. Oh! Not enough to cause a mass extinction, but it will be noticeable. I see! Spaceflight would become impossible in the Wasn't noticeable system, at first, not gonna lie. And wouldn't survive the waves of radiation for long. We don't know exactly how bad this okay. would be, but a supernova that is close enough may trap our species on Earth for generations, maybe thousands of years. It only gets worse from here. Stage four, closer than 100 light years. Okay. Within 100 we're light years, some damage. things get bad. I mean, we were causing damage, but... our climate in ways that we don't fully understand yet. Oh, no. There are a few unpleasant things happening all one after another. Really? <laughs> First, the high-energy photons arrive from the explosion, yeah. followed by many decades of radiation from the oh. radioactive tsunami, both oh, that layer just gone. the ozone layer, Earth's shield against harmful radiation. And we're already kind of killing the it to begin with. The ozone layer absorbs ultraviolet radiation by breaking apart ozone, O3, into okay, this is O2 like elementary and a stuff. free oxygen atom, which later reforms back into another ozone molecule. Oh. But the supernova radiation breaks up nitrogen molecules oh, no. that gobble up the free oxygen, breaking the cycle, uh -oh. and depleting the ozone layer quickly. God, Without is it really that easy? That everybody living on the surface is exposed to very high levels of UV radiation from our sun. That's like the freaking shield the just went away or something on a spaceship. During the day could it's be terrifying. The extra radiation uh, also kill a lot, I was expecting if not more. most, of the plankton in the oceans that live near the surface and are the basis for the marine food chains, leading I to a mass weird extinction. Fish? Oh no, Worst you're dead still, fish, I'm sorry! radiation would ionize gas in the atmosphere, which means that it would punch through molecules and knock electrons off God, nuclei, that's in it, punch through molecules! These charged nuclei then act as seeds for water vapor to gather and form massive global clouds. Uh -huh, okay. In the worst case, they would reflect enough sunlight to trigger an ice age. Oh! In fact, it's thought that the ice age two and a half million years ago was caused by a supernova. Some scientists even oh, think that, that a supernova Texas about 60 right light years away might have been the cause of the Devonian mass extinction 350 million years that ago. That man was ready to be but a wait, civilized man. The electrons punched free by the radiation form enormous electric avalanches. Or oh. In other words, lightning. Lightning? <laughs> is hit by some of the worst the electric avalanches? Of years. The intense lightning causes global wildfires that consume forests and crops, Devastate cities, disrupt our I, I grid, see. and global supply chains. Good. All while a decimated ozone layer leaks deadly radiation. It's like straight up apocalyptic while in the past, stuff, the man. The ecosystem may have bounced back from a nearby supernova after a few thousand or million years. There's no Just guarantee a few, you know, give or take. civilization can take a hit of this magnitude. Uh. We would face food shortages, skyrocketing prices, and wars as nations struggle to well, not wouldn't... be consumed by chaos. So I was about to say, wouldn't everything be burning would at the anyway? Very least do significant damage well, for hundreds burning? or thousands of years, if not end our modern civilization, and with it millions or even billions of lives. Oh, that's true, Still, man. We just went like fallout, didn't we? And could recover without the nuke. Stage five, closer than twenty-five light years. See, we didn't need more. <laughs> I was than satisfied. Years means that we're in its kill radius. Where yeah, mass I think we were previously. Probably about half of the ozone layer would be destroyed, and massive climactic disruption on a scale we've never witnessed would ravage Earth. Entire never witnessed. systems would swiftly be wiped out by radiation. As I mean, do we glow though? That's kind of cool. Planet. Give and take, All right? the things described before happen, but way more intensely and much faster. Oh, a few man. people might survive for years. Space is scary, but it's still cool. Supplies, but the world they return to will be devastated and hostile to life for hundreds of years. I keep thinking that snow is no good, Human like radiated snow, just coated. Likely. The final stage. You have 60 four seconds. Years. Being Stop. Any closer to a <laughs> Wait, that's still four light years away, and it's just still that space bright. Is big, but the it do be big. Be even from four light years away, the distance to Alpha Centauri, a supernova would be almost as bright as the sun in the sky. While casting two shadows could be fun for a few hours, within oh. days the Earth's surface I'm in gets as hot as a sauna, baking the surface for weeks until the explosion Oh my, fades. you're literally melting the my mess. Of Earth burns, There's the, the burning I was talking Even about previously. The aren't safe. The massive amount of radiation that follows burns away the suck it up. layer, killing everything that sees sunlight. You still didn't the largest answer my question if we glow. In history, I would like that. Life to a few survivors Not the dead part. Sea and critters in the deep oh, soil. the whale! Life basically has to start over. Conclusion. How worried do you need to would be? Would that be a bad thing if, we, if so the Earth started over? Worry? We don't need humans, right? No. Fortunately, 
there are only a handful of stars that may explode within 1,000 light years of Earth, and none are close enough to be a serious threat. Okay. Even Thank better, you for these stars adding that little not cherry of comfort for many millions of years. Just vibing. So you <laughs> are safe, but there's no guarantee for the far future. As stars I knew it was the galaxy, our descendants the future may find is so uncertain. Dangerously man. close to a supernova, but by then, a far Ooh. more advanced and wiser humanity. Hopefully, hopefully and there's the video. Move out the, the previous way. video. In any case, actually, it's been a while since that one. Sleep well what if we move the solar system? the beautiful night sky. Now that's a dope image right there, man. And if you dream Never mind. about understanding the physics behind this video and others, just unlocked my third eye, my man. Lessons to build your understanding of fundamental Either Skillshare or Maybe the other one. With our brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. These lessons dive deeper into it was the one I forgot. Popular videos, including things like cosmology, biology, it's so and freaking even dope. Science. I know I comment every brilliant single video about this, but tool the things they do, man, it's just so so helpful. Because we know that to really learn something. You've got Correct. to do it. Think of each lesson. That's 100% sure. Like, that's how I learn, man. I have to be video. very hands on. In I mess up so lesson, many times, but I'll get it right. Into the conditions Eventually. That can trigger a supernova and how to determine the impact of one on a planet like ours. My man, I got them all. Brilliant has thousands of lessons to explore, from maths based topics like algebra and probability to the concepts behind machine learning. Alright, that's and very important, computing. man. And with new lessons added each month, including ones from Kotzkazant, you'll always find something See, that's what makes me really excited, man. They have their own little, like, class. That is so freaking now, dope, go dude. Go to brilliant.org slash nutshell and the sign up for How'd free. How'd you say that? And with a the free trial of Brilliant Premium, you can explore everything Brilliant has to offer. There's even an extra perk for Kotzkazant viewers. Knowledge the first 200 people to use the link get 20% off their Ooh. annual membership, which unlocks all of Brilliant's courses yeah, they're in doing math, the right thing here. and computer Trying science. to give everybody their uh, enough to go above and little teaspoon of knowledge. Research. Brilliant will be the catalyst you, you doing to okay, buddy? the limits You're of your still, knowledge. You're still tripping out, I got you. <laughs> there are still you a few copies you. left of our 12,023 oh. human calendar. Get it now for a whole yeah, year everything they make, man. Every single thing they make is so beautiful. And it actually looks like they care, you know? Like you could get some stuff that's like, you could t hey, there's the button. <laughs> all right, so all in all, fantastic stuff, man, from Cursed Cat, like always, man. Every single time I watch their videos, it's just soaked with knowledge, and I love it so much. And like, I, I kind of like, kind of almost guessed it right at the beginning. I was like, exploding sun or like a exploding galaxy or something like that, but supernova, sort of in the same vein as exploding sun right but like all in all man fantastic stuff and i love the fact that like there like this one was a little different like it was in the same vein like the same type of video but it was a tiny bit different like how they showed the scale and stuff like that because the actual like the supernovas themselves they it said not to scale you know so like that part the size part wasn't to scale but the distance was you know like they still had that little like here's to scale measure but it was in a different like it wasn't size it was distance this time and that's what's really really cool it like keeps you on your toes and stuff and yeah that's a tiny like itty bitty molecule little detail but that's something i picked up on when i was watching it you know like they keep it fresh for you like it's not just the same thing over and over and over again it's like okay let's do this and have it this way but let's talk to it in a different way that seems fresh to where they don't get like burnt out of something like because I could sit here and watch an in a nutshell video about space like pretty much all day like if they just give gave me like a 24 hour video of them explaining space to me I would absolutely love it you know like it's just fascinating stuff and there's just so much stuff to talk about here that we cannot even scratch the surface you know so like more more Kurtz to get please in the future like I really really want more it's just so cool I just love soaking up this information it's very useful information I mean yeah like this one it's like we don't really need to worry about this type of stuff like for hopefully for way more years to come you know but like it's just really really cool and exciting to think about like what if it did happen like what if there was something really close like a supernova that just exploded one day like what would happen to us and for that Kurt Stigat is really really dope I love it so much so thank you everybody so much for watching leave a like down below subscribe ring the bell become a member you get videos daily and check out the merch so with that said I've been Master Zero y'all guys have been fantastic and I'll see y'all in the next episode later days